whenever we keep typing a commands like uname who w tty sttty you are seeing certain output from these commands what if i type a command called asdf like this and press enter you receive an output saying command not found that means there is no executable like asdf or there is no script like asdf in this system or at, at least in this path environment variable please don't worry on this environment variable called path at this time i would explain in very detail in environment variable section so if you want to figure out from which path uname is picked up you type which uname whenever you type a command called uname it is first searched in this directory if it is not found then it goes and searches in this directory then to the third directory then to the fourth directory but if you look at here the match for uname is found in user bin if you see ls l user bin you can see that file name there which is a command which shows the full path of commands our shell commands there are similar commands like which let me clear the screen when i say where is let's say tty this is the location of the executable and these are all the manual pages associated with tty these are all the manual pages associated with tty now when i run a command called what is tty it searches for tty word in these three manual pages and gives me this output now this output came from tty.1.gz file this output came from .1p.gz this output came from tty.4 if you want to see that information this is a little advanced as of now but by end of these lectures it would be very easy for you to understand what i'm actually doing now let me copy all these three files to my local directory the files are copied here let me change modes change permissions for all these three files the permissions have been changed to all three let me uncompress each of these files so that i want to read now you can see three files instead of dot gz extension you don't have any such extension now let me open one file after the other file So I opened three files now. If I search for the first file here, tty.4, tty.4, you have information as tty as controlling terminal. Let me go to the next file using colon n. If I search for tty, you have here written user's terminal name. What is the file name? tty.1p. The file name information is here. Let me go to the next file. Next file is tty.1. This is the information. These are the exact three definitions of tty we found when we run a command called what is tty. Let's compare it. These are similar, right? Controlling terminal, return user's terminal name, print the file name of the terminal connected to standard input. In summary, when I say which TTY, it tells me the location of this command. It pretty much checks in the path environment variable. When I say where is TTY, it tells me the executable path followed by man pages associated with this command. When I say what is TTY, 
it goes to these man pages and searches for the description of this command you just explore that option by uncompressing these and going through these files via vi command and we compared that with the given output and it exactly matched if you are not sure about a specific command let's say what is uh, ldd i'm not sure what is an ldd command you can do man ldd or you can simply say you can simply say what is ldd it prints shared library dependencies similarly what is word count if you have noticed by now there are various ways to do the same thing in unix probably by end of this course you realize that so that's why i told clearly at the start that please don't by heart these commands all this will come to you by practice with that i conclude this lecture